the wonderful David Deffy. David. Thank you. Uh, unmute David. I always, yeah. Thank you. Uh, hello, my friend. Do you have a poem for us and a bio, a, bi a one sentence bio, please? Okay. First of all, let me say I'm deeply honored to be here. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Larissa. Thank you, Jonathan. And let me say hi to my distant friend, Mr. Michael Anania and Ronald Bremner and Mr. Joshua Corbin, who are here right now. And I'm deeply honored to be among them and share with you some of my new stuff, which uh, has been published uh, by uh, Spectrum Publishing in Pasadena, California. Uh, I'm David Deffy. I'm a Georgian-American poet, novelist, essayist, multimedia artist. In Georgian language, I published eight novels, uh, 15 collections of my poetry, and recorded three audio al albums mm, with orchestra and electronic band. I started writing in English directly when I arrived in States in 2017, found some job as a cab driver. Right now, I'm on the job right right now and uh, please take my apologies because after my reading uh, I have to go back to walk and uh, don't take it as a rudeness from my side because uh, <clears throat> time is very precious and uh, let me start in my poem and let me share it with you. It, it's called Echoes of Cornelius Street Cafe in New York City. It's very for me, it was a deadly event when the, in Manhattan, Cornelia Street Cafe was just shut down. And uh, thank God I attended a couple of mm, uh, readings there. And all my imaginations now are here. Who moves forward is always lucky. One more of your breath has come and has gone. Who still believes is always laughing and able to unlock all the secret doors. I walked. My footstep echoes burn the street. Out of Duffy, the act of faith, Cornelia Street Cafe. I feel as if I am remembering the scene before. I opened the door to my own heart. I saw your secrets there, and I forget. I've been thinking about war, about the reason for war and death. How we lost, or how we won. How we used to be then to try to correct the mistakes or be unmistakable? Could we start again? So long since you've been missing my calmness, my friend. Bleeding hearts of artists, breathing out of silence. How about we don't let this happen again? How about we forget this? Yes, forget. Thank you, David. And and God bless the Cornelia Street Cafe. That was a great thing. Thank you, David. Thank you, David, very much. A hand, please, for David Deffy, everybody. Thank you. Great. Okay, we move on to David Deffy. Hi, everybody. Hi, Patricia. It's great honor to be here, included as one of the author in this absolutely historical and beautiful Brownstone Poets Anthology 2020. Thanks again. And I'm going to read my poem, my one of <coughs> the poem, uh, which I wrote this couple of months when the pandemic has been started. And it's a beautiful feeling for me to be here with you in this absolutely gifted and powerful company of poets. The bees all around me. I am watching the bees. I feel something eternal. The bees are singing. 
we can see ourselves and be free. We cannot see ourselves and be happy. We can understand each other and be free and be happy and be alive. And what you see is not what you see. What you hear is not what you hear. Our life, your dream, the most beautiful illusion we can have. You only want to know about second. You only want to feel the second, the second of life. Life has meaning and has no meaning. The second we lose or find the illusion of being eternal. One bee shin down on my palm as a drop of golden blood from heaven. I feel the real touch of love. I see now what is real is eternal. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank so you. much, David.